Hello, my name is Lily, I'm 11 years old and I live in the Netherlands and I'm the founder of Lily's Plastic Pickup and I'm going to tell you guys my story. And the 1950s, a time when McDonald's was created, a time when my dad was born but he's at home now, and, but a time when something new was created, a time when plastic was created. In those times they thought it was the most beneficial thing in the world and it was going to change humanity as we knew it. It was a thing of the future. It was durable and you could use it for anything. And it was going to change the world forever. Well, it did, but not really in the way you think. Because, true, you can use plastic in a good way. You can use it for Tupperwares. But when you throw it away, all it does, it just ages and ages and ages and ages until it can't really hold its physical form anymore. So it breaks down into tiny, tiny pieces called microplastic, or even smaller, nanoplastic, or even smaller. No one knows how small plastic can get because it's not really made out of a natural material, it's made out of fossil fuels. And sometimes microplastic, or the larger pieces of plastic, sometimes make their way into the ocean, either by winds or waterways. And once they make their way into the ocean, well, there is something as equally small as that microplastic in the ocean, plankton. And as we all know, plankton is tiny. So the plankton, they eat the microplastic, and then circle of life happens. So the fish, they eat the, the plankton, and then a larger fish eats the plankton, and then, again, circle of life. And as the Star Wars saying goes, there's always a bigger fish. Well, humanity isn't really a fish, but we are bigger than that one piece of plankton. So... Actually, we are eating fish that had plastic in its stomach. So technically, that means the plastic is in us. Yikes! And you're thinking, whoa, how did I get all this information? How did I start? So many questions. Ah! Well, I'm going to answer your question. So how I started was in the year 2015, when me and my grandpa, he's over there if you look. <laughs> and so we were just walking to McDonald's, and then I noticed something. It was a piece of plastic. Didn't really think too much of it. So we were walking again, and as I noticed, there was more and more and more pieces of plastic as we, as we walked further on. So we both agreed it would be a good idea to pick up all these pieces of plastic, and also because this was in a time when I was sort of new to the Netherlands, and I couldn't really speak or count in Dutch very well, so we were counting all of these pieces of plastic and you will not guess how many pieces of plastic we counted. We counted 91 pieces of plastic. I know. And this walk was only, let's say, 15 to 20 minutes of walking. And then I just thought, I have to do something about this. And then my grandpa, he told me that anything that anyone will throw on the ground will somehow make, make its way into the ocean because it might take a day, a week, a month, even a whole year. Someone makes its way into the ocean and into the plastic soup, like I just said. In 2017, a lot of people knew about my initiative, Lily's Plastic Pickup, and what I did. Because after that pickup in 2015, we started sorting all of these pieces of plastic into columns. So cans go with cans, bottles go with bottles, etc. And, and then we take pictures of it and then we post them on social media. Fun fact, I'm on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook if you want to check it out because I can see someone on there. <laughs> Just a fun fact. So in 2017, a lot of people or a lot of media opened their eyes to see what I was doing because people need to know about things that are happening in the world. And then they saw what I was doing. So first, the local newspaper came. They did an interview with me. Then the national newspaper came. Then very early in the morning, Q Music called us for an interview. And then my grandpa, he made a joke. He said, well, next thing you know, the TV is going to come. Funny thing was, Hartford and Adelon came at the door at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I guess that was a coincidence. <laughs> and in 2018 was when, I, was when I opened my eyes about climate change. So it was in 2018 in September, I was watching a video of Greta Thunberg, and in this video she was talking about future generations, emissions, climate change, melting ice caps, deforestation, all the climate things. And when I saw this video, I just thought, I have to do this, I have to support this, I need to do something about this. So in the same week, on, on, that, on, that, on the Friday in that week, that was my first ever school strike. And now we've done up to about 57, 
uh, school strikes about? I think so, yes. And you're thinking, well, she's saying a few negative things about, about plastic and, and about what climate change does. Well, true, but I am also trying to be positive. Because, well, positivity is contagious. So I want everyone in this room to think about what makes them happy, to think about, about what do you want to fight for for this planet, to save this planet from climate change. Because you know what makes me happy? Drawing in my sketchbook and realising that Dragon Prince Season 3 is coming out on November 22nd. So that is the thing that makes me happy, so I'm going to spread all my positivity. So everyone in this room, think about what, what makes you happy and think about the thing you want to fight for. So just take all the positivity to spread it to other people so people know what you want to fight for. <laughs> very good, very good. It's because when I open my eyes, you know, I want to see... I want to see no climate change, no plastic in the water, and I want to see animals living and, and not living in fear of humans killing them. And I want to see trees growing and not being chopped down. And I want to see everyone all across the world living in harmony and living in peace so that, and not starting wars and arguments with each other. And I want to see you guys, you guys enjoying the future, you guys enjoying the benefits of nature. Because we should never take nature for granted. Because if this planet goes, so do we. And remember, positivity is contagious. Thank you.